Hi there, my Aries Taurus. Welcome into your reading. So today we're going to be looking into your month of December and we're going to look into career, into love. We're also going to pull some self, uh, some self love at the end and some fun stuff that you can do to just have fun, celebrate life, enjoy yourself. All right. So let's get started here with your overall energy. What do we have for my Aries Taurus? Alrighty, so we have pineapple reconciliation. All right, so I guess we have already a little hint here around love. It doesn't have to be about love. It could be you reconciling with a, an old part of you, uh, you reconciling with a childhood dream, you reconciling with a wound, and finally being able to let it go, right? It could be so many things, but we're going to figure that out as we go with the reading. But we also have here crib, birth or consumption of a tra. Oh my god. Birth or consumption of a child or enterprise. We also have table, hard work, candle, you will be shown the way. Barrel, you feel something is lacking in your life, perhaps love, money, or goals. And we have tiger, do something risky, take a chance. And it's funny that this is doing something risky, taking a chance. And I, it's sounding more like a, an advice, right? Do something risky, take a chance, put yourself out there. So I guess that is a little bit of your advice here this month. There's definitely something that I feel like it's around career, which could be the birth of a new thing, uh, of a new business, the birth of or the start of a new job, for example, uh, something around those lines. Be aware that it's going to take a lot of hard work, but you've got this. And it's something that I feel like it's really going to fill you up. You will be shown the way. I feel like you could be receiving some signs and synchronicities throughout the month to tell you, hey, yeah, that is the right path. Keep going. Keep doing it. Um, and it could give you a little boost of confidence and boost of, I don't know, kind of affirm the direction that you're taking. So that's really nice. And it could be that by itself could be something risky, could be something a little bit out there. And it's like, oh my God, am I really going to make it? Take that chance because I really feel like you will. Okay. Maybe there is something here that is um, missing a little bit when it comes to, when it comes to love with this barrel, you feel something is lacking could be but i don't know we don't have a lot of information around love we just have this reconciliation so it could be take that if it resonates but um, let's see let's get some more information here i uh, already pre-shuffled a few cards for you and we're going to start with career and then we're going to get into love have sp oh yeah spirit guide so there you go you could definitely be receiving some answers about this new thing all right but let's see we have spirit guide we have true love and divine. Oh, this is really nice. So I really feel like whatever you're starting here, or maybe you already started, um, and this is just a confirmation that, yeah, you're on the right path. That career path is your true love, right? This is a love deck, but it is your true love. It is really aligned with you. We even have life purpose, right? So it's definitely your destiny, and it's definitely uh, what you've been waiting for, what you've been looking for, what you've been trying to build. So that's really nice. Um, and I feel like you're going to receive so many synchronicities, so many signs. Please pay attention to them, all right? Because it's really like pointing the way, especially with this hermit here. It's like if you ever feel confused, meditate, look within for the answer. Your spirit guide is going to be there with you, all right? But if you're thinking of starting something new, if you already did, and you're kind of with that anxious energy of, oh my God, is this the right path? Dude, it truly is, okay? You're super freaking supported. This is divine intervention in a way, you know, it's, it's, it's your divine path and it is your true love when it comes to career, all right? You're super on the right path. So let's pull here some tarot to get some more information. Yeah, we have the Ace of Wands, have the Wheel of Fortune. Let's get one more. For career for my Aries Taurus, please. Woo. Look at that, two of cups. Oh. We have over here, Knight of Pentacles, Six of Wands, and the Knight of Swords. All right. So take it nice and slow. Don't um, feel the need to like rush because you're missing out or it's, I don't know, you're, you're, I don't know, afraid of failure and you feel like you need to kind of move things too fast. Don't worry. You're, you've got this. And I feel like by you taking things methodically, okay, with purpose, with direction, with sense, it's definitely going to work out in your favor, okay? And again, if you ever need guidance, 
your guides have your back and they're going to show you the way. Um, if you ever feel like you're falling back, I feel like, and this usually is how it happens, is like when you see, sometimes when we, when things get stagnant, when things fall apart a little bit, um, or they feel like they're not taking any progress, that kind of thing, sometimes it's a matter of readjustment and sometimes it's also a matter of you understanding how to be grateful for what you already have, okay? So make sure that gratitude is always at the center of yourself, of your being, of this career, okay? You get to do something you love. You get to do something that is a passion of yours, right? With the ace of wands, it could be something creative. It doesn't have to be. It's just something that really fills your heart. And that is the most important, beautiful thing that you could experience. So try to really always fall back into this place of gratitude. Try, try to always... Fall in this place of, oh, okay, I'm doing it. I'm doing it. I've got this. Okay? And if you need a sign, ask for it. You, you, you'll receive it. Okay? But I really feel like you are surrounded by a lot of success and a lot of good, positive things. So believe in yourself and keep moving forward. All right? Your advice here is focus. If you focus... Uh, that's uh, that's funny if you focus on what you don't want there's a good chance you might get it focus on what you want uh, what you do want instead so it's a little bit of that thing of like the gratitude if you keep focusing on the gratitude you keep receiving that thing that you're grateful for okay and if you focus on the things that could go wrong and the things that are stagnant and that kind of thing you keep seeing more and more and more of it but if you fall back into this place of ah, okay you know what i'm doing my best and i'm making it and this is working and this is working that is not working okay maybe we can shift it a little bit but I've got this and I'm making progress, okay? So please focus on the good. My absolute yes list, I love this, yeah. And um, there's also something about like say yes to adventure, doing something risky, taking a chance, say yes to crazy ideas, say yes to uh, what may seem stupid, but it's actually not, okay? There's something about that. It's like your ideas could have a lot more progress a lot more power and potential than what you are aware of okay so say yes all righty let's move here into love and see what do we have over there we have truth all right we also have a new beginning that's nice and we have fling short-term casual crush in ses all right I kind of feel like some feelings could be revealed here. And maybe that is the missing piece, you know? Because um, I'm not sure if it's like some feelings are revealed to you or if a judgment. So it's a realization that you have. I feel like you could realize, oh my God, I have feelings for this person. I thought that it was just about the lust, about that passionate, sexy um, energy. But it turns out maybe this could actually be my new beginning huh okay or maybe you're understanding if you're not connecting with anyone maybe you're understanding that you actually want love you know that you actually want a new beginning in there but some truth is is being revealed to you and maybe for the longest time you were super focused on your um door side right really focused on your finances and stability and security and maybe you forgot that love is also a form of security you know and it's also part of human life and human experience. And maybe you, you have been missing that a little bit. And now you can go back and understand that, you know what? Maybe I had the money. I had the goals. Maybe what I'm missing is the love and I'm ready for something new. Right? If you're already connecting with someone, maybe you're understanding that, oh, this person could be my Ten of Pentacles. Could be my, um, my path forward. Could have some pretty solid potential here. Have the chariot can be a cancer. Look at that, four of wands. Some of you could be getting into a commitment this month. Or again, starting to look for it. Wow, four of wands. What else we have? The star. And we have the three cups over there. Um, so we have Aquarius and Cancer energy. We also have here a little Leo. Okay, but um, this, is, this is very interesting. I really feel like you are, either you're connecting with someone already or not. I feel like you really are manifesting someone incredible. You're manifesting your wish fulfilled, okay? Um, and things can really progress in a beautiful way towards commitment. Four of Wands, Ten of Pentacles. That is a really long-term, solid, 
healthy commitment okay this is not something that is toxic and that is going to lead to um I don't know a lot of hurt and a lot of wounds and and that kind of energy no this is someone really soft I would even say this is someone really sweet and gentle that is here to love and I feel like they're here to love you and this can really have a really good solid way to go okay and I even feel like you could be making peace with yourself it's that that is interesting is that reconciliation maybe this could either be the star can also talk about healing so this could be a twin flame relationship if you resonate with that and you're having reconciliation in that um but I feel like this could also be you reconciling with your wounds and healing them and three cups also talks about reconciliation so uh, again take that if it resonates if it doesn't it doesn't but this could even be someone that you never really had a commitment with but it was just something casual but you kept thinking about each other or maybe you kept in touch and now you're kind of reconciling into a different form but either way I feel like you're also reconciling with your wounds I feel like you're also kind of tendering to yourself and being like you know what we can breathe now we this happened in the past and we experienced this in the past but it doesn't mean that we always have to experience that over and over again maybe we can experience something different maybe we can create a new reality for ourselves and you are you definitely are because now you're manifesting like a beautiful commitment here that's really nice so this month in love you're definitely connecting with a new beginning here wow and i feel like it's coming has a surprise for you i don't think you're expecting this you're not expecting this realization maybe you're not expecting this person to show up again or to show up if it is someone new maybe you're not expecting to get into into a commitment or to have these feelings but it is happening it is happening and i feel like it's going to be beautiful all right so your advice here is authenticity live life for you not the audience in your head um and i'm getting this live life for you not the people who hurt you okay because the more you hold back the more you the more you stop yourself from living and from loving the more you're going to be giving those people satisfaction for what they did to you you know the more they're going to think that you're so holding back because of them because you still have feelings for them and they still have something that they can take from you you know whether that is literally or spiritually but the more you trust yourself to handle more that's when more shows up and i feel like you have what it takes to handle more to handle love true gentle pure love and that is what you're manifesting so really look within is this something you want is love something you want is love something you're desiring if it is do something risky take a chance and see what happens okay because you deserve to be happy and this person whoever they are <coughs> excuse me this person whoever they are they're gonna love you unconditionally for who you are okay you don't have to change a thing you don't have to pretend to be someone you're not all you have to do is be yourself okay and that is enough more than enough really all right so let's finish this up with some dice self-love dice then we're gonna pull some fun stuff we have no we have clean the house definitely do some healing some journaling if you want uh to even look into your inner child and see how it is feeling about love and that kind of thing we also have music so if this is something related with music definitely go towards it working really nice for you okay but um I would even say with the no, it's like, don't be afraid. Don't be afraid to say no to people. That is for sure. But don't be afraid to say no to yourself. Like, um, to push yourself out of your comfort zone. It's like sometimes you want to say no to stay at home and be comfy and that kind of thing. Get yourself out there a little bit. You know, push yourself a little bit. I feel like it's really going to work out great for you. Alrighty. So let's pull here some fun stuff that you can do this month All right wow this is a lot but we're gonna look at it so we have ice skating rollerblading we have arcade we have over here art class fair amusement park indoor camping we have bike ride bike riding in this case clubbing or dance party and you can have a dance party at home uh night at hotel 
maybe you can have a dance party at an at a hotel uh but we have brunch paint night diy project pn- picnic in the park wow a lot of th- a lot of stuff visit a museum play video games yoga class and italian night that's really nice all right so uh feel free to screenshot this uh to pause the video if you will but you, these are a couple of things that you can do by yourself that you can do with someone else uh, maybe with this new person going on a couple of dates that could be really fun um but yeah so this is what i have for you thank you so much for being here i hope it resonated and helped if it did somehow please smash that button for me and don't forget to subscribe if you haven't already but um if you're interested in checking out my private readings my merch my um patreon for extra readings lives that kind of thing all of those links are going to be in the description box below and this is what i have for you so i love you very much i wish you the best and hopefully we will see each other some next time bye